Good morning! In this week's block news, a snazzy upgrade for post-featured images in full-site editing, WooCommerce announced plans to blockify the single product page, Alan Rickman reads the latest Gutenberg plugin review, and the group container block gets a nice update. Let's get newsy! Time for block news. It's news about blocks. So now in the latest version of the Gutenberg plugin and also coming to WordPress 6, you have the ability to set your post featured image as the background for the cover block. And that allows you in full site editing mode to do things like this that you're seeing up on the screen. Right. I have the background featured image set as the background to the cover block, but I can actually put other blocks within it. In this case, I've put the post title block and the post author block and the date block. Let me just show you and explain a bit more how this works. This is really powerful. And it's one of the most exciting things I've been waiting for in the Gutenberg plugin. So here I am editing mode. Let me just jump back a step. I'm in templates and I've gone to the single post template. And if I click on the list view, I'll just show you how this page is now constructed. So what we've got is the cover block added here. And the key bit to do this is this little icon here. This little icon lets you set the post featured image as the background to the cover block. So it will dynamically grab the post featured image and set whatever featured image you set for that specific post as the background to the cover block. But of course, the cover block is a container block, so you can put other blocks within it. Now, in this case, I put the post title block. These are just blocks within full site editing, the post author block and the post date block. Now, again, this is the cover block. So if you want to change the height of this, you can just drag this around. Uh, if you want to change all the fonts within in the uh, post title block, you can change the colors and all that sort of stuff over on the right in the block settings. But let me just show you what this looks like. So this is the post that I've created and it's just grabbed the post featured image and used that dynamically for that template. If I had another post now, let me do this really, really quickly so you can see this works. Let's just pop in some text here. But the key bit is over here on the right, I need to set the post featured image. And let's just grab any of these images here. Let's grab this one here. Actually, let's grab this one here and it will automatically grab that featured image and set it as the template told it to as the background to the cover block with the post title and the post author and the post date over it. If you want to make changes, you can just nip back here, open up your single post template and make changes. So if I increase the opacity over here, that'll add an overlay opacity on that specific cover block. And you'll see that be reflected straight away throughout every single post because remember, we're editing templates here. WooCommerce have announced plans to blockify this single product page. This is great news in my opinion because it further cements Gutenberg within WooCommerce. They haven't announced any timescales for the rollout. My guess is it will take quite a while for this to hit and they'll do it slowly and make sure it works as they go along. The other limitation I probably can predict is this will only work with full site editing themes. So if you do want to take advantage of using Gutenberg for the single product page. We actually have a plugin called WooBuilder Blocks, link in the description below, which works with legacy themes and also with full site editing themes. As you know, if you subscribe to this channel, I'm a huge fan of Gutenberg, but it's important to listen to everyone's voices. So every week we keep an eye on the Gutenberg reviews. And this week, again, by the magic of AI, it's read for us by Alan Rickman. Sucks bugs lost edit. Seriously, this is like there's nothing better to do. And then the team decide to reinvent the wheel. So a negative review there with not a great deal of detail, but beautifully read by Alan Rickman. There is now a brand new stack block, which is a variation of the group block. Now, the main thing this allows you to do at the moment is align blocks within container blocks. Let me just show you. It's a little bit difficult to explain. But if you look at the list view, you'll see how I've built this container. I've got basically a stack block, which is a group block, a variation on a group block. Within that, I've set the group block and I've limited the size of the width of that over here on the right, just setting the content width here. Uh, so if I set that back to 300, that just limits the size. And now you'll see with the top level stack block that I've added, you've actually got this new justify and alignment setting. So you can actually change the alignment of the group block that's within the top level container block. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, if you can hit that like button now, it would be amazing because it really, 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 it really does help spread the word of the channel. Also, every time you do hit that like button, our cats get a little treat. If you want to see more videos around Gutenberg and WordPress and the block editor, hit that subscribe button now 
and you'll be notified every time I release a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Keep well, and I'll see you soon.